Good morning everyone. I hope you're all really really well. It is currently quarter past seven on Tuesday morning um, and I've got a bunch of things to do today. None of which are kind of long enough for a video in their own right. Um, so I figured what I'd do is get like a full day's worth of little bits done and take you along with me in kind of like a let's get stuff done vloggy type video um so we finally have some heat and it is hot um outside so i really need to go out and deal with the garden before it gets too hot water the plants and things like that um, I also need to cover the coffee table. So I bought a glass table not too long ago, maybe four or five months ago. Um, and it was supposed to be like scratch resist, tempered, strong, like resistant, tough glass. It's not, um, it's done nothing but scratch since we got it. and when I clean it it still looks dirty because of all the scratches so I got some um of the kind of frosted sticky back what's well, not sticky back it's static cling stuff for windows and I'm going to pop that onto the top of the table and then I'm going to flip the glass um and we're going to see how that looks I'm hoping it means you won't see the scratches anymore uh I'm already on the lookout for a new table um but I really actually like this one. I don't know. Anyway, I've got to get that done. I've got some cleaning to do in the kitchen. <clears throat> and I've got some new laundry stuff to try. Um, so I'm going to wash the bedding today as well. Um, I've got some general tidying up to do in here. And I'm waiting on... I've got a new... Um, like a cordless heated styling brush for my hair so I haven't done anything with my hair today I've just kind of chucked it in a ponytail it kind of looks like a fox tail at the moment it's really thin at the top and then it goes all poofy here with the frizz and then back down to nothing so I've got my little fox tail kind of um hairdo going on at the moment my allergies are next level today the pollen's been really really high and the council came round and cut the grasses and um cut back all the hedges and stuff like that a couple of days ago so the pollen is the next level today. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have, so for years and years and years, the uh, allergy pills on the market have not been too, too great. I've had to buy um, one over the counter that makes you really, really drowsy. And that's really been the only one that's worked for me recently. But I discovered these guys this year. I don't know if they're new. Or if they've been about forever and I just haven't heard of them. And they seem to do the job really, really well without um, making me tired, which is nice. Um, so these definitely are getting used on a daily basis these days. So I'm going to have this. Um, and then I think I'm going to start tidying up in here because, like, it's not... It's not really bad, but... It could do with like a quick little going over before it becomes really really bad and i also want to try out i'm sorry i also want to try out some of my new cleaning bits as well um on the new cooker we've also got the new fridge now as well which is also stainless steel so i'm going to use some of the method cleaner on that as well so i'm going to have this we're going to start in the kitchen and we're just going to gradually work through the jobs today you guys sit up on the tripod. Oh my gosh, that's so stiff today. Why are you so stiff? There you are. Hello. Okay, so I have this tablet first with my exceptionally hot tea. to deal with this drawer at some point as well. A thousand things just mounting up at the moment. <laughs> but it's okay because it gives me stuff to film, right? I 
I think my husband used this to clean the skillet yesterday and then just left it in the pot for me to deal with. We'll have a fresh one. So for the countertops today I'm actually going to be trying out my little Purdy and Fig that I picked up in my little cleaning haul the other day. Um, I'm going to start off with the balancing floral one because it feels right, the pollen's high, summer is coming, the floral one for now. You can see how red my eyes are in. I've popped some eye drops in as well but we have to wait so I'm just emptying that whole thing into the bottle. That's really nice. And I'm just going to fill the rest of it up with water. Give it a bit of a shake and we're ready to rock and roll. Ooh, kind of leaky. I don't know. That is really, but can you see? It's leaking from here. That's disappointing. I paid a lot of money for this. Never mind. Let's see how it cleans.
Okay. okay, so for the cooker top for the glass lid, I've got the method glass cleaner. It's in a mint scent. I'm not sure how I feel about the mint scent, but we're going to give it a go to see how well it does on the glass. I've read very, very good things about the method cleaner for the glass. Ooh. And they were not wrong. Not wrong at all. It's done a very good job of getting that gunk off. Can you see it now? No, of course not. There you go, I've just stood it up there. Okay, I'm liking that and I can't see. That's still wet down the bottom, but aside from that, I don't think it's going to streak over. And the mint scent is barely there. So happy with that. Next up, I'm going to try the stainless steel cleaner on my lovely hole that my husband did steak on yesterday. Let me just move you down again. So my husband did steak in a skillet yesterday on these. So I'm gonna see what we can do with these as well. Okay, let's have a look. So I think what I'll do is I'll go and get the grease off first. into everything. Do you have a burn mark here? Joy. Oh, right. Okay. And then we'll go in with the steel cleaner. Less is more. Also I hear. That's kind of nice. So that is already about a thousand times easier to clean than my old hole. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how easily. Oh. Now I don't know if that's just because this is easy to clean or if that method stuff is really, really good, but look at that. It's not streaking, so I don't have to worry about using it in the correct direction. So I'll take some over this. Wyatt thinks it's nine minutes past two. I don't know. It was set correctly, my husband's faffed with it. <sighs> Men, you can't let them know new things, can you? So, the burn mark is still here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that off. That's why he's used the skillet. And it says on the instructions for the cooker not to use a skillet across the hobs. And I'm assuming this is why. Um, oh. Well, that did a good job. I quite like that. Let's put the things back on.
Beautiful. Okay, so first use vertex. This is very strong. Um, and once you dilute it and spray it, it's, I don't want to say it's unpleasant. It's not unpleasant. If it doesn't smell the same once you've diluted it as it does in the bottle. I get used to it, did. A fair job, we'll see. Love it, love it. Less is more. So this bottle, although it's only 354 mils, it's gonna last me a really, really long time. Love it. And now that it's all dry. I don't see any streaks. Love it. And the mint is barely there. It's barely there. It's like as if someone brushed their teeth half an hour ago. Love it. I feel like Method might be my brand. <laughs> so yeah, I'll carry on with the Perdium fig. I'll see how it goes. Um, it might just be the scent I don't like. I do like the smell of the other two a bit better. That's why I wanted to use this one first. Um, so I'll get this used up over the next week or so. I hate that it leaks. See it dripping? I hate that it leaks because I thought even if I don't like the product I can I can use the bottle no. we'll see we'll see I'm not gonna say it's bad because it's not bad it's done a normal job and the smell is fading um but I don't know that I love it yet we'll keep going and see how that goes okay so next up is this coffee table I've got my roll of like frosting film um it's the kind that you put on the window so it's static it's not sticky back so it's not like a fablon or a, what do they call it i want to call it dmc but i know it's not dmc that's embroidery <laughs> but you know what i mean it's not a sticky back it's a um it's a static cling so i don't know how well it's going to work on like a flat surface rather than a vertical surface um but we're going to give it a go anyway and then if I've got any of this remaining, I'm going to use it on, let me show you, it's easier. The top windows of other doors, well, this is hard to do when you're backwards, there we go. Those top windows on the doors, um, particularly that one, because on that one, where you're sitting, where I'm sitting usually on the sofa, you can see the curtain rail there. And I don't really like that. Um, the curtain rail has to be there. We have a curtain told up. Um, but I don't really like that I can see it through that gap. So I'm gonna put any, if I've got enough excess, which I should have on this roll, um, I'm gonna do those as well. And if I've got enough, which I'm not sure if I'll have, I'll do the bedroom, bathroom and toilet ones as well. Just try and get them all done. Um, if it looks nice, I might order some more of this actually, because um, it might be nice to frost the kitchen window. Um, at the moment, we've got like a, a mirror film on it to stop the neighbours from looking in. Um, but when you have the kitchen light on in the evening, they can see in uh, no problem. So to have frosted might be a bit nicer, and it might diffuse the light a little bit better as well. So might order some more if this looks nice. Let's get the table done anyway and we'll see how that goes.
Okay, so here is the table all done. I have flipped it so we have the high shine still of the glass. Um, at certain angles, you can see the scratches, but they are much lessened. Um, I, I like it. I like it, but I've had a couple of comments from family members that it looks like the foam that you sometimes get in packaging and they're not wrong like it does it looks like the foam but like I still think it's better than what we had is it a forever solution absolutely not um like I say I've, I've been on the hunt for a new table I really like the round table um it definitely needs to be another round one um but at the moment all I'm really finding is like glass or marble like there's nothing I would like a sort of specially frosted glass one. I know that I don't want normal glass anymore because this stuff's supposed to be toughened and only scratch and stuff and you know you can see it's scratched quite significantly. Um, so you know it's not a permanent solution but I like it for now. Let's pop the bits back on it and see how it looks. Okay, so I've got the plum back on and the coasters back on. Stand back a little bit. I quite like how it looks now. I think it's fine. I think it will certainly do. And I'm not going to lie, come Christmas, the fact that it looks kind of snowy is going to look beautiful with the floor arrangement I'm planning on. Wow, look at all that. <laughs> with the floor arrangement that I'm planning on making for it. I actually kind of like it it's not perfect if you look a little closer around the edges you can see it didn't quite it won't quite stick around the edges it's not coming off I've, I've kind of tugged on it and tried to see if it's going to come off it's not coming off um but it's not perfect around the edges but where I flipped it, it kind of looks as though that's just part of it so it's actually worked out so that's job done another one to take off the list okay so next job today i'm over in my dining area that i just decluttered the other day do you want to see do you want to see let me turn that down a little bit look oh he fell over <laughs> So basically, oh, Tripod's not playing the game today, I'm sorry. Okay, so basically, um, I got this cleared the other day. And then my husband went to, there's this shop near us that does like short code stuff and stuff that's past its best before but it's still okay to eat. And he stocked up on a lot of stuff and we don't have any space in the kitchen for it. So it's ended up in my nice clear zone I'm not angry but I should have seen this coming like the second there is clear space so like I did literally yesterday I did under the stairs and already stuff is accumulating so what I need to do is as I'm going through and clearing out and making space in these areas I need to be ready with what I'm putting in those areas so I need to be ready with the chaise here I need to be like the microwave is supposed to go under there but it's supposed to be on like a little shelf um, I need to be ready with everything before <laughs> before I clear these areas otherwise like literally 24 hours later there's stuff under the moon because behind that microwave I know is the toaster the toaster was supposed to go with the guys from Curry's um, when they installed the new cooker because now that we've got the grill we don't need a toaster anymore um, and it didn't it's still here and now it's never going to get used and it's still here so I have to dispose of that now as well but anyway back to the job in hand so today I need to sort out I do need to do over there that's coming up but I want to now that I've got this unit here try and get you an angle where you can see all the drawers not really but pretty much I want to go through just these drawers today and not so much declutter 
but reorganize them because this one's supposed to be kind of batteries and cables and chargers and stuff. This one is supposed to be um, sunscreen, after sun, sunglasses, all the, this is like a seasonal drawer. So in the winter it will have gloves and scarves and hats. In the summer it has like sunscreen and stuff like that. And then this last drawer, which you can see here, is supposed to be for my filming stuff. So I'm filming now, let me just come down so you can see me. <laughs> I'm filming now three videos a week, two for my normal channel and one for my members section. Um, well, that was uncomfortable. Um, so I really need to have a draw just for my filming stuff because I tend to film in the day and then in the evening when I'm from work, I tend to edit up in my bedroom and I leave stuff up there. And then my husband comes in from work and goes to bed and I can't then access the room to get my filming stuff, which puts me behind. So I really need to have a drawer that's just for my microphone, my laptop, my laptop cable, my camera, my camera batteries, my camera battery charger, my SD cards, all that jazz needs to be in one of these drawers so I can access it whether or not I'm upstairs editing or downstairs filming. So let's do that now. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> I got these little pingy chickens for Christmas Eve. They were so much fun. They're just like you ping them like a hairband. They were so much fun. But it's time for it to say goodbye. We had great fun with it. Time to go. But a great idea for a stocking filler for Christmas if you've got young children. They're great fun and they don't damage anything. Check out how much these basic plasters were in Gran Canaria. Eight euro ninety. Good grief. We're absolutely keeping those. I don't care if I have to put Hulk on a boo-boo.
Okay, so drawers are all done. I now have a particular place for batteries, chargers, etc. A particular place for sun cream, seasonal stuff and shoe care, like spare laces and things like that. And then one drawer for my filming stuff. So that's a lot better. That's a lot better. I've been meaning to do that for weeks. Um, I think next week I'm going to start going through the base cabinets because ideally in those I would like um, how to describe it kind of stationary but not but like things like uh, spare birthday cards um, bits that everybody needs like notebooks and, and stuff like that pens all of that can go in the bottom here but also I want to make some space for my youngest daughter's books she is a very avid reader of kind of anime books and she's got lots of them um, and there's no more room upstairs so I'd like for her to have a, a place for her anime books um, but also she loves to draw and kind of craft and make things so she needs space so what I really want to do is if I can angle you down properly is give her these two end cupboards for her stuff one for her books one for her craft stuff and then I want that last um, cupboard for like the general purpose kind of birthday cards and stuff like that um, place so anybody who's got a, a birthday that's snuck up on them or whatever can just go in there grab it not have to be disturbing anyone or anything so I'm quite pleased I got that done I think it's time for a tea break um, and then I need to get to work on laundry um, I haven't done that yet because I'm aware that my husband's going to be home from work very soon and he likes to sit for a couple of hours and just watch some TV and kind of just relax a bit after work um, before he goes up to bed so I kind of wanted to leave that until he's gone up to bed but it's getting later and later <laughs> later and later it's 20 to 9 it's not late it feels like about midday um because I've been up for so long um so yeah I might just get that done before I get home I've got a laundry load in the machine that needs to go out to the garden which I still haven't watered that's the next job cup of tea water the garden I've made my cup of tea and I've just set it down because while I was in the kitchen I realised that when I was trying out my new bits this morning I did not try out the method wood polish. So now that I've done this uni and I've got the drawers cleaned out, I'm going to give it a go on this. Thing. 
Well, that smells beautiful. Almond scented. I think I might be a method girl now. I think I might be a method girl. Everything's been brilliant. I might go and invest in some more. Okay, so I've just sat down for my tea break. Um, and I just wanted to say, of all the things I've tried today, I've been pleasantly surprised by the method stuff. Um, I've been avoiding method for years because I've heard such mixed reviews of them. And because it's a bit more expensive than competitors, it's kind of like, oh, well, it, I don't want to spend that much if it's going to be rubbish. And I've just realised all these years I've been missing out because they all smell lovely, even the mint one, which I wasn't too sure about. They all do a good job. That wood one smells amazing. And even if it did a crap job, which it didn't, it did a good job. Even if it did a crap job, I'd still use it because that smell is beautiful. That smells beautiful. And now I'm trying to find more wood things in the house to polish with it. <laughs> so that I can have that smell in the house. Um, at the moment, I'm sorry, I've got an ear infection. Um, at the moment, all I really have is that unit. Um, but over, I don't know if I'm going to get it done before Christmas. I'd like to, but I need to be realistic about this. I want to strip the banisters back down to wood. And then I want to sand them and varnish them and have just the natural wood. Um, because they're not like your traditional nice banisters. They don't look nice painted white. It makes it look a little bit kind of a care home. <laughs> so um, I want to strip those so then they will be wood and I can use the wood polish on those. I want to strip the um, windowsill back down to wood. Um, and have that as natural wood as well so there will be things that I can um, use it on I'm very excited now because that smells beautiful so yeah I might have a look at um, investing in some more of the method products if you guys have any favourites or there's any that smell particularly yummy let me know I know they do a rhubarb and uh, was it rhubarb and what? rhubarb and cassis? Cassie? I don't know how you pronounce that um, like a general purpose cleaner I might get some of that and see if I can use that for like mopping and stuff um I don't know if I'm going to stick with the purdy and fig stuff I think probably I just don't like the scent of that floral one it smells beautiful in the bottle but once I sprayed it around it's way too overpowering it's too strong and it's a bit um I don't want to diss it because it's not a nice, it's not an unpleasant smell, sorry. But it reminds me of my nans. Like, um, not in a bad way, like there's nothing wrong with nans. But, <sighs> do you know what I mean? It's not a bad smell, but it's not a smell for me. So I'll use up the rest of the floral one and then I'll switch over to the others. And I'm going to reserve judgment on the Perdian fig until I've tried the others because I think it might just be that scent. That I'm not in love with. Um, certainly the Ver uh, vetiver one smells beautiful and the citrus one smells beautiful as well so I think it's, it's just this one. Um, but if I don't go with them certainly I'll be having a look at the method to replace it because I want to enjoy cleaning. With all this you know with autumn coming up and the deep clean coming up I want to be able to enjoy cleaning and if I have products that I like the smell of, I like the use of, that's what I'm going to choose. I'm not going to put up with something just because I spent a lot of money on it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes with the Perlian Fig. But loving the method stuff, really, really like it. I am going to take the glass cleaner upstairs and try it on the shower door. <laughs> That is the test. That is the test of all glass cleaners, is the shower door. I tend to do my windows with just like soapy water, so probably not going to use it on those. Um, but that shower door, fucking thing. Maybe I'll frost that. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to have my cup of tea and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to water the garden. Well, just the hanging baskets, the rest of the garden's okay. Um, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start dealing with this chaos here which is mainly laundry 
oh, Dawn's angle, which is mainly laundry. Um, but I also have my memory box here, which is a video that I've been planning on doing for a while and is very, very difficult <laughs> for me. Um, and I tried to film it yesterday and I got the photo album done, but the rest of it, not yet. Too difficult. Um, but hopefully I can get that out to you soon because that's been a really challenging one for me. So I'm going to pop that away, deal with the laundry, and then we'll see what other jobs I can get done before I go to work. Okay, so we've got all that done. Gardens, well, hanging baskets are now watered. The gardens are looking a bit rough um, at the minute. We've gone from very, very wet in the UK, wet and cold, to hot and dry pretty much overnight. Um, and a lot of the plants are suffering from it, particularly my earlier season stuff. I'm gonna have to come cut back. Um, so I might do a little video of that. I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how hot it is. I need to get out really early in the morning and do it. So anyway, uh, back to today. Next on my to-do list is washing the bedding. I've got fresh bedding on, so hubby's okay to go to bed. And I'm gonna wash the old bedding. And I've decided today to start trying out my tallow and ash um, little sampler set. So I was having a look at them all and the one that kind of spoke to me today was duvet day we're going to try duvet day um i can't remember the scent but i will try and put it in like a little text so you can see what the scent is of this but it sounded amazing i was reading it this morning already forgotten <laughs> so i'm going to um get these guys into my little cups and um we're going to try the tallow and ash duvet day laundry shampoo and conditioner on the bedding and um, I've got a lovely day for drying outside so shouldn't lose any of the scent to the dryer let's uh, let's give these a go shall we okay so I always do my duvets up before I wash them because it stops it from swallowing the pillowcases <laughs> as it's going around. Lavendery. That's very nice. Okay. And then conditioner. Ooh. It's very watery this. Very watery. Does smell nice though. It's like a kind of <laughs> it's like a kind of perfumey lavender. It's nice, it feels a little bit more luxurious. And the cowl of course. And I'm gonna pop it on a 60 just because I'm not sure how well this stuff works on on a lower temperature. <laughs>
Okay, so Andy's home. So I'm gonna put the laundry off that's in there while he watches his bit of telly and has something to eat before he settles down. And I'm gonna run up to, I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm gonna walk very slowly, probably puffing and panting, up to the bathroom and the toilet. And I'm gonna give those a really quick little once over um, before he goes to bed because they sit right next to our bedroom and that's gonna stop him from sleeping. I'm gonna take my new method stuff up and try on that shower door. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom now. I don't know if you guys can really see. I'll try and zoom in in a second. But the shower door today is particularly bad. Um, I think what I'm gonna do to test this glass cleaner properly is I'm gonna clean one half of it with the method and see how it removes these marks, if it does. And then I'll do one side via cow um, and see which side comes out better. Let's see if I can get some close-ups, but if not, you can imagine like there's lots of hard water marks, there's shampoo, conditioner, body wash, everything is on this door. <laughs> everything. I'd hate to I'd hate to actually do like a bacteria. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a close up and then I'm going to do probably um, this half with the method and this half with the biocal and we'll see what kind of results we get. Okay, so I'm really hoping you can see all the marks, but it's in a very bad state of affairs today. Let's give it a go with these two. I'll do a little time lapse and then I'll show you the results. Okay, so results, what's the verdict here? I'm gonna turn you around in a minute. I'm having far too much fun doing this. I'm having far too much fun testing out new things. Um, I'll do you a close up, but at a quick glance, and you can't even, you can't even see the door. They both did really well. So basically they both have performed kind of, um, as well as each other really. The method I had to, excuse me, <coughs> hey Viva. <laughs> so the method I had to actually, um, rub a bit, <coughs> Lord. I had to rub a bit harder with the method. Um, but that was more on the areas where there was like shampoo and conditioner body wash and stuff because there wasn't really so much on the bike house side. Um, as there was on the method side, but honestly, they both performed really well. I can't see any hard water spots. I can see a few bits I've missed with the with the back, <laughs> and I always do, especially kind of down here. I miss I miss this bit all the time because of this like bump thing that we've got here, which stops it from hitting and smashing on the corner of this. Um, but yeah, they've both performed really, really well. I'm very happy with both. And that means now that I can reserve the Viacal for um, its main job, 
which is removing lime scale um, and I can use the method on the shower door and it's going to be just as good it's just going to be just as good um, which is lovely because the bike house is quite expensive don't get me wrong the method um, I think I actually managed to get it cheaper on Amazon because I feel like it's about four four fifty in the shops and I got it for three seventy five on Amazon so I feel like it was a little bit cheaper um, to order from Amazon but the Viacal oftentimes is more expensive than that so it'd be nice to keep that for like the actual scale and then just use my flash for just generally going around and doing the sink and bath and stuff like that and I'm wondering should we do a patch test if the glass clean is going to be very good on the tile there's a particularly bad tile here I'll show you one sec so often glass cleaners work really really well on the high gloss tiles can you see that particularly grimy one there I'm going to test out the method glass cleaner I'm just going to do a couple of spritzes up with a dried towel, a dry microfiber. Excellent. It's not completely dry yet, but it's also going to work really nicely on the tiles. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so my new little cordless heated hairbrush straightener thing has just arrived perfect timing because I've just finished the bathroom so I'm going to give this a go it's just heating up now I've got it on the highest setting which is 230 which is what I usually have my hair straightened on I don't know if it like beeps or anything once it's warmed up but you'll see the state of my hair I have to put so many clips in because it's so frizzy So I'm going to pop in some heat protector spray and um, maybe a little bit further away so you've got a better kind of view. So my mirror is here so I'll be looking this way for most of it and I'm sorry that's a bit bright. still not kicked in either. I'm going to use my um, viewfinder thing to brush my hair first. I had a deep condition last night. So, so it's as good as it's going to get today. <clears throat> See how this goes. Try and clip as best I can. It always falls down anyway. I'm not a hairdresser, nor do I pretend to be. I do cut my own hair though, I've got to do that soon. If you guys want a video on how I mess that up, I'd be happy to make one. Maybe it'll end up with Brad Mondo. <laughs> right, so, I'm get some heat protectant in. I actually don't need a mirror. I could just do this all in my viewfinder. I'm sorry guys, I'm looking up. I've got like a flip screen. Even I can manage to burn myself with this. Like it's hot, but it's not like burning. So you're supposed to go from the underneath. And down. So I'm not expecting miracles here. But if it's a little bit quicker than my straighteners, 
and a little bit easier to use because I'm not tied to the power socket, then that's perfect. Wow. Pretty good. Let's keep going. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me slowly doing my entire head. But so far, I don't know if it's even heated up yet, like all the way. It doesn't beep or anything. I'll probably get halfway through my head and it'll be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then I'll know it started too soon. Wow. good I won't do my so this is hair without and this is hair with like it's not poker straight but straighter than normal and it's tamed my frizz down a little bit this might be my new holy grail And like you can totally touch this. I mean, it's hot. But it's not burning me. Like the main heat's right down. I mean, I wouldn't want to touch this bit. Wow. Right, let's be down. Okay, sorry, my camera died. Um, <laughs> I've just finished. It took me maybe 10 minutes. So straightening my hair normally takes me about 25 minutes, half an hour. And although this is not poker straight, it's nice and tame. I love it. This little thing is a little bit of a godsend. Um, I'm going to show you the box and all that now because I was so excited to use it that I just unboxed it and went straight with it. But I really like it. This is going to be great for like um, weekends away and stuff. And I can just throw it into my work bag. And then when I've finished work, I can just run through. Great little thing. Let's show you the box and all that. In case you want to get one for yourselves. I'm not paid, by the way. My YouTube channel is still too small for anyone to want to send me anything or promote anything. So, you know, it is what it is. But anything that can make me do my hair in the morning quicker and easier, I'm all for. Okay. So in the box, obviously, you get your little hot brush. So to turn it on, you literally just hold the button and then you can select which temperature you would like. And it goes off by itself after eight minutes to protect the battery life. Um, it's rechargeable, USB-C, um, and it heats up. I think initially it took about three or four minutes to heat up. Um, still can't believe it straightened my hair that much. I thought it was going to kind of smooth it a little bit. I didn't realise it was going to do such a good job. So in the box, so this is the, I want to say Lano, but I know double L in Welsh is like a K sound. I don't think it's Welsh. Um, we're going to call it the Lano. So you get your little charge cable, which you saw this morning I need like a hole in the head, but it does come with one. It comes with a few little hair clips. Um, oops. I'm dropping it. <laughs> comes with a little blush. Brush. Not a blush. Brush for cleaning it. It comes with a little baggie. So if you do take it away for the weekend, which is... This thing's definitely coming with me if I go away again. Um, I can go in there. I don't know if that's heat proof. I will check. You've got your little instruction manual and you've got this little VIP card. I don't know what you get. Uh, VIP benefits, uh, extra sale discount, test new items for free and a five year long warranty. Um, if you activate the VIP. Um, I don't know if there's a charge for VIP, it doesn't say. I might have a look at that because that's really good so it might be nice to try some new bits if they bring anything else out
Oh, it's a QR. There is a QR. I have my scanner. I'm still getting used to an iPhone. I was very much an Android girly. Um, and then when it came time for me to get a new phone, I got an Apple iPhone 15 because um, I wanted to, I'm, I'm saving up for a Mac basically to do my editing and I wanted my phone to be compatible with my Mac so that I could film on my camera and on my phone so that when I went out places I could film and it would all be compatible and it would be nice and easy. I don't like iPhones. <laughs> I don't like iPhones. They are complicated and unnecessary and a bit daft, I'm not going to lie. There's some good things but I prefer Android. When this one's time is up I'm going to go back over onto a Samsung. Um, because it basically it records everything in .mov files. I think it was .mov, um, which my laptop will not see. My editing program will not see. It's, it's just been a nightmare. I can't even find my QR scanner. It's probably somewhere really obvious. Oh my, right. yeah, it is. It is. In their defence, that was in a really obvious place. Okay, QR scanny scanny. QR code's too small. Yeah, look, it's right there. It's literally in your box. Can you see it now? Oh, man alive. I hate this phone. I really don't like it. Well, we're just gonna have to find out later. Um, yeah, I got it because because it's the pretty green, and I like pretty greens. It's pathetic, isn't it? I also want the Mac in the green. Um, but I'm debating the whole thing now, changing my mind. But anyway, got me off track there, didn't I? So yeah. Okay, so laundry's done. Little update on the tallow and ash. Still smells like lavender. I really was hoping I was going to love that. It's such a weak scent. I don't know if maybe I killed it with the hot wash. I'll try another one on a cooler wash and I'll give you a proper update. I was really looking forward to a really lovely smelling bedding set. I'll try it again later, we'll give it one more go. Same with the Purdy and Fig. But my head just like, just wasted so much money. Can you get these on the line? <laughs> right, so, it's now hit 24 degrees, which anywhere else in the world will be beautiful temperature. In the UK, we start getting grumpy because it's so humid um, and it feels so much warmer than 24 degrees. So I have got about three or four hours until I need to start getting ready for work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down now and have some quiet time. Everyone's out and doing their own thing. I'm going to do some of my um, cross stitch. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm suffering with hay fever. Yeah. So the one I'm doing at the moment, I started this on holiday. So normally I have the counted cross stitches because I like the challenge. But while I was on holiday, I wanted to have something kind of easy to do in the evenings when we were home. So I picked up this stitch kit from Amazon. It was very cheap um, and it's a pre-printed one. And I've made really good progress on it. Um, so my cross stitches usually are Christmas ones because 
the idea is when I decorate for Christmas, I want to have loads of my own done cross stitches to put up. So I'm this far. I reckon I can get this finished today if I sit and do it now while it's hot and I don't want to do anything else. Um, so I'm going to get this finished off. I'm going to sign off now for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending the morning with me. I'm thinking that I want this kind of thing to be my members content. So on YouTube I have my main channel which is where I put all my main kind of cleaning, homemaking, goal setting, plan, lifestyle videos. And then I've got the member section which is where people can um, kind of see a little bit more in depth into my life, all the nitty gritty details, what I'm doing day to day and stuff like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these kind of a vlog style, whether it's a morning vlog, a week in the life vlog, or, you know, whatever. I have these as my members content. Um, so that anyone who, who does want to see a little bit more can. But so I'm not kind of flushing the page with just like loads and loads of videos. So I'll do two videos a week on my main channel. One video a week on my members channel, I think. Um, and we'll go from there and just see how it goes. Members at the moment, I don't have um, anyone signed up to members. So there's a very good chance that no one will see this video. Um, if that's the case still, I think by September, I'll start releasing the videos onto the main channel and I'll just leave members behind. Um, I just wanted that available as an option for people who wanted to see slightly different things. So yeah, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to get my cross stitch finished. I'll show you at the end of this video if I have got it finished. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed spending the morning with me. Sorry if I've been rambling too much. Uh, some days I just wake up with energy and today is one of them days. Um, and some days I don't and I have to force myself to do things. I still have this laundry to do here. I'm thinking I'm going to do that when I get home because um, I'm also going to have the bedding and stuff from outside to do and then tomorrow morning I think I'm going to try and get out into the gardens really really early before it has a chance to warm up because there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be cut back a bunch of stuff that needs to be pulled everything needs a really good watering and a feed um, so I think I'm going to get out there and do that in the morning I probably will film it um, for a main channel video um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today for me. I hope you've enjoyed spending the morning with me. Sorry about rambling. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys. Have a great day.